Picking up exactly where we left off, let's uh, quickly look at our code. We're clearing the screen, setting some variables just to shorten up our code uh, from line to line. We're asking the user to input the first few letters of their search. We're creating a variable called Q for query. And then we're going to search the Marvel uh, database for different characters and trim out the links to each character. So we're coming along good. Let's uh, clean this up a little bit. And uh, we're going to actually start putting everything into a while loop so that it will uh, ask you, continue to ask for uh, input until you exit out of our script. So let's uh, create a variable up here. We'll just call it x and we'll say x equals zero. And then down here we'll say while x equals zero we are going to do everything between this do and this done. Let's indent so everything looks nice and clean. And here we go, okay. So our code should still work. Let's give it a run. We'll run it. I'll say SPI. It brings up every character with SPI in the name, and then it asks me for the letter of my search. I'll put in PNU and it brings up some characters that start off with PNU, punch out, pun fisher, punisher, pun is sure. Okay. Uh, but we'll continue that. We can hit control C to kill that application now. And we'll go back into here and let's uh, add once again, I love the clear command just to make our screen look nice. Okay. So now we got this going, we got that. It's going to ask for the user input. We'll clear the screen again there and we will uh, say echo and we'll echo searching database and this is if your connection is running slow since it's checking the website it will give some output to the user instead of just it just sitting there they're even going well did I hit enter what's going on uh, then we'll be grabbing our links information here and actually let's turn this into a variable We'll say links, and links is the name of our variable, and then we'll do dollar sign parentheses, and everything in between these parentheses, basically when those commands run, whatever the output is, which is going to be our list of characters, or the links to the list of characters, is going to be set to our variable links. So, now that we have that, let's clear the screen again, because at that point it's been collected. And now we're going to start a um, select statement. We'll say select, and we'll say subject. We'll call our character subject, uh, and we'll say in, and then backslash. I just recently went over select statements in my tutorial videos, so definitely have a look at those. And what we're going to do is we're going to say dollar sign echo, and we're going to echo our links. Let's do it like so. So we're echoing the output, which are the links of all our characters. And we're going to pipe that, don't forget our, close our quotations there, into a while read line. And I'm going to try to do this all on one line here. Do echo dollar sign line. Let's just to, don't need the braces here, but since I've been doing it in the code, let's continue to do it. We'll pipe it into cut dash delimiter of forward slash and I'll show you what that's doing in a second we're gonna say field four done close our parentheses backslash and then we'll just put exit here for an exit option um, so far so good let's go ahead and save that and basically what that command did that line did uh, we cut, you can see that we have our links here, and we have a forward slash there, a forward slash there, and a forward slash here, and then our character name. So what we're doing is we're cutting this, these lines at each one of those forward slashes, and we're saying field four, which would be one, two, three, four. So quickly, let's look at our code again. Right here, we said field four. We're cutting 
at the forward slashes field four. So basically we're just making a list of the character names without the full uh, URL address there. Let's run it, make sure we're doing everything right so far. We have an error, I forgot to close uh, a statement here, probably the select statement. Oh no, do, 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 do. unexpected done, I'm sorry, select statements don't end with done. Um, let me have a quick look here, look at my notes real quick. Oh, we forgot to finish. <laughs> okay, so now we need to finish our select statement. So we're going to say do, and we'll just say echo dollar sign subject. So basically, once we pick a character, it will echo out the character's name, and then we'll say done here. Okay, now it should work. Cross your fingers. Okay, so far so good. Once again, let's type in SPI. As an example, searching database brings up stuff. Now I just have to type in the number of the character that I want to search. So we'll just say this uh, Spider-Man 1940s, we'll say 12, we'll hit enter, and it just echoed out the name of the uh, character we selected down here. So let's take that a step further here. We'll hit control C to quit out of that. And we will create a um, Let's see, what do we want to do next? Uh, we should probably break from the select statement at that point and go back and basically, if we type in break here, and by the way, the this entire script is up at my site. There's a link in the description. should be the first link in the description. So you can go through this script, uh, the completed script, and have a look at it. So now when I run it, I'll type in SPI, hit enter. I'll choose a character. We'll just say 21 in this case. It would have, it, ha it did echo out the character's name, but uh, it cleared the screen and went back to asking for a search uh, rapidly there. That's fine, because we're going to add more to the code. Um, now, if we do a search again, say SPI, you see the last option we put in there is exit, so I can do 34 exit. It doesn't do anything now. Let's make that do something. So we'll press Control C, and we will do down here, We'll add an if then statement or an if statement. So we'll say if our subject, and let's use the braces just to be consistent. I'm trying to get in the habit of doing that, even though it's not always necessary. So if our subject equals exit, what are we going to do? Well, then. Clear the screen, echo, exiting, just so they can see the words exiting on the screen, we're going to say sleep for two seconds. We'll clear the screen again, we'll set x equal to 1, because remember our while loop is going to loop as long as x equals 0, so we need to make x equal anything but 0 at this point, we'll just make it 1. And then we'll say break to break out of the select loop. And then we'll close our if statement with fi. So now we can save this and run it. I'll type in spi again. If I type in a number like 32, it goes back and asks me to search again if I do spi again. This time I can type in 34, and it did not work. Let's have a look and see what we typed wrong. Control C to exit out of that. Vim. X should equal one. Subject. Let's try removing these braces, although I don't think that will make a difference. It's always fun troubleshooting your code. Let's run it again just to see. SPI 33 still doesn't exit. Hmm. It's not running, so 
what am I doing wrong is the question. If subject, and I'm spelling everything properly, I hope, equals exit, which it should if I pick that number, then clear the screen, print exit, sleep, clear, and break. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll troubleshoot this, and we'll start here in the next tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. I promise I do have a complete working version of this script up on my site. The link's in the description. Go ahead and check that out, and wait for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.